Okay, so sometimes in our Snowflake database we've got this table in our warehouse and it has some JSON data in it and the JSON data is not just JSON fields but it's actually an array and it's got multiple JSON entries in an array inside of the JSON field. And so it's actually a table and we want to query it out like a table uh, so that we can have those fields as fields in our query. And that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to be using the flatten method. I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Python on Snowflake playlist, and we're going to take a look at flatten. Now, flatten is a very, very handy feature, especially with unstructured data where you've got tables inside of your JSON fields. Uh, for example, you might have a variant field and you've got some JSON data coming in and there's a table in there and you want to be able to show that table uh, with reference to the sort of parent uh, table so that you get multiple rows, you get a row for each of you know the ID numbers or whatever that are in the parent and you also have all of the information from the JSON table so that you can query it or put it into your reports. Let's get to it. Looking for additional resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay guys, so a pretty fun one today. We are going to be working in Python as usual and we are going to start a new uh, Python script here and what I'll do is I'll just uh, save it as uh, sf underscore flatten. If you would like to see these uh, scripts, you can download them for yourself from the link in the description. Make sure you check that out. And uh, we are going to be using our Snowflake connector, uh, which has been the basis for most of our videos here in this series. And we're going to use the Snowflake connector as SC. And then we can go ahead and create a connection for our Snowflake database and uh, we'll give some feedback to the user there. Uh, we'll say uh, print connecting and then we'll just try out our connection. I have a connection string from uh, of course from my previous video so I'll just paste that in for speed here so that we've got our connection ready to go and then I will print connected as a feedback there and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in our exception block uh, so we can put accept exception as E and then I'll just print off if we get an error there and uh, and then we'll do a finally block where we'll close our connection if it is open and just to check that so that we've got a script that will open and close our connection here and we'll uh, give some feedback we'll say disconnecting and then we'll say if uh, our, if there is a connection then we'll try that uh, close method there we'll say cnn.close and uh, and then we can give some feedback saying print closed and then we'll give some final final feedback here and say print done and then we're good to go we'll test that out and make sure our connection is working and uh, we can hit F5 on our keyboard to do that and uh, let's give it a whirl here and and there we go it fires up and we'll just make sure that we have that connection so we should see connecting here and uh, it takes a moment sometimes if you are just starting it, but there we go. We've got our connecting, connected, disconnecting, closed, and done. And so now we can go ahead and do our query. And uh, we'll, we'll create a SQL string here. So I'll go ahead and I'll build our select string. And uh, we're going to do that inside of the brackets there so that we can <clears throat> have a multi-line string so that we can build it there and I'm actually going to build the join first here uh, so I'm going to fill in the fields for the select after but first thing the first thing we're going to do is say from uh, project time and that is our timetable there and I'll give that an alias of PRT and then we're going to put a comma and then we're going to use our table and then flatten function the table function returns a table to us so that we can have it in our query here and the flatten function uh, flattens that uh, JSON table that we had in there, a JSON array into a table. So that's essentially what we're doing is we're using flatten so we'll put in our 
prt.time entry, that's the field that we want, and then inside of the field is the entries, uh, the entries entry in our JSON. And so by flattening that, we're going to get a table out of it so that we can use it in our query here. And so we'll give that also, uh, we'll give that an alias of ENT. And there we go, we've got our project time as PRT, and then we've got uh, our field that we're flattening into a table. Note the comma that we put in there just before the table uh, function. And uh, we are going to go ahead now and use the fields that we have uh, between those two uh, tables, project time, and then the table that we're getting out of the time entry field there. So we'll use the PRT dot staff ID and we're going to put our data types in here for this query. We're going to say that that is an integer, which it is. Now note that that is the only field that comes from the parent table and the rest of the fields are going to come from the table that was in JSON. And so if you're wondering how to connect uh, the you know the parent table fields to the fields in the JSON table this is how it's done and so we can in our next line there we can use our our entry table and we'll get the value and then the project ID and the integer uh, is the data type for that as project ID and then we'll get the date as the next one um, and so uh, we can go through each of those four fields and we can grab uh, the value uh, from from the JSON in order to show it as a field here and so we'll we can use ent.value um, and then the next one will be uh, the hours worked which is uh, also an integer and so we will be using that one finally we'll be using the comment field and that'll be the final field so we'll just uh, wrap up the uh, hours worked as hours worked and then we'll do our comment here. Comment is actually a text field and so we're gonna use the data type of string for that one and that is gonna give us uh, what we would like to see for that and so we can do that one as comments and then we've got our from clause ready to go and there is our project time alias there PRT for the first field and that is the project time table. And then for the rest of the fields, we're going to be using this flattened uh, PRT.time entry entries. Uh, and that'll have the alias ENT. And so there's our ENT fields uh, coming from that JSON entry. Uh, so each of those is what we want to see. We're getting the value out of uh, the, the sort of JSON field. And we are. Uh, specifying the data type as well. So there's our integer. We've got a date here as well. The entry date is a date. And, uh, and then we've got a number and a string as the last one. And that is exactly what we want to see there. So once we have our query ready, we can go ahead and uh, we're going to get the data out. Let's put a underscore in that staff ID there. That will match with the rest of our fields. Um, and then we can go ahead and, and we're going to add uh, what we need to get the data out. So we're going to get a cursor just like we normally do uh, on this channel. We've been using the, uh, the Snowflake connector and the cursor quite a bit. Uh, CS equals CNN.cursor. And then we can just uh, sort of load a variable with the result there. We'll call it uh, records. And then we can say for each one of those, uh, we'll just print it out and get the result here. And to do that, we'll simply just print our record. Uh, and there we go. We can print the uh, result there. And uh, so we can put our cursor in and hit F5 and see what we get. Hopefully there's no errors in here. It doesn't look like it so far. So there we go. Okay, so we've got our output. That is what we want to see. There is the staff ID, and you can see that beside the staff ID are the associated fields that were inside of that JSON field that had the JSON array in it. And so those have been broken out. 
That is exactly what we want to see there. And that is how you can use the flatten function in your Snowflake queries. Interested in more topics like these? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description.